I have to bend a couple of them using a pair of pliers to get that nice 60 degree uh, angle of attack that's required for this type of dish. And we have got 19 active access points. And if I actually get this at that proper low angle that it really wants, we could probably pick up more. Now remember, I want to go and try to get an access point that's probably 50 feet up and a couple of hundred feet in. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can tune in this with the bi-quad and see what we can get. Now, unfortunately, I might not be able to get the exact angle of attack because of the way the mounting hardware is on this, but I can assure you that we, we've, I've gotten some pretty significant gain with this setup. Now, I don't want to spend too much time here fiddling around looking for access points. And if we go back to my actual access point, you'll notice that it's completely dead. Reason being is my access point's way off behind this. It's, you gotta be literally right in front of this. In fact, you should have a couple of, you know, where the hell is this bro don't tase me coming from? I mean, really, this is a new one that just popped up in the neighborhood, and I have absolutely no idea where it's coming from. But with the bi-quad, uh, you could probably get close to 25 to 30 decibel gain with this if you're lucky. Now right now I'm using LMR 195 coax about 5 feet, which is a multiple wavelength of 2.4 gigahertz. Now if you do actually have the ability to uh, build or otherwise buy one of these bi quads, this, uh, this setup can actually be pretty devastating to, to your neighbors. It's just one of those things where uh, it, it makes me laugh maniacally from time to time because I'll uh, right now like I said we're inside of an actual brick home we're inside of a radio shit hole it's we're inside of a an attenuator radio signals do not come into this house they also don't leave this house and the fact that we're chewing through brick walls and we've got 23 active access points right now just with this setup and I'm not even pointing it in the right fucking direction so but you know what? My mom always said, bigger is better, so that's why I go after fat chicks and black guys. So, let's get bigger, shall we? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes I actually forget how crazy I am until I actually take a step back and look at what the fuck I'm doing. There's absolutely no way I can actually get on frame with this fucking dish. It is about four feet wide and probably about two and a half, three feet tall. There's absolutely no way I can actually angle this to get a proper focal point, um, unless I go outside with a very huge tripod, which I can't do. But either way, you can actually see what kind of amassment of signal that we have with these different access points. I mean, just for fuck's sake, look, look, let's just see if we can just pan this around. See if we can get this access point that's all the way up there. See, right now, unfortunately, I'm using the completely wrong mount for this, so this is providing me with quite a bit of difficulty. But, let's see if we can get a different. Where the hell is this bro don't tase me come from? That's really driving me nuts. Ah, oh, there we go. See, unfortunately what mom didn't tell me about bigger is better is bigger also weighs a whole fuckload more. Also hurts a hell of a lot more when it lands on you. So, with this satellite dish, I have quite clearly chewed through dozens, multiple dozens of access points. Uh, you can also just take the, uh, the stock LMB, which I have on my couch and I can't show you, but I mean, same principle applies. You just go and take your USB Wi-Fi stick and attach it. If you want, you go ahead, use a bi-quad. You get a lot more gain out of it that way. Um, 
Still picking up 24 access points, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that they'd all, I mean, this one's connectable. Uh, Airsoft is completely dead. Big Daddy, dead. Bosnia Net, mm, I'm pretty sure that that's bombed out. Uh, Christina, that's a new one from the neighborhood. Matter of fact, where's that one from? I swear to God, that sounds like something out of Jurassic Park. I, orcas off the shore of New York City are going to be wondering what the fuck's going on. Uh, default, no, that's bottomed out. Diana Ukraine, um, bombed out. Gamer, bombed out. I don't know who this one is. Koshtakhan? That one might be connectable. Lynx. Sis, you're bombed out. Master, you're completely in the red. And, yep. Wonderful new glitch with NetStumbler. But either way, this is just to go to show some of the uh, basic parabolas. Um, I've actually got one more. I'm not going to actually hook it up. I'll just show it to you. And it's called the Super Dish. Alright, here's the Super Dish. In fact, if I talk into the Super Dish, my voice will probably reflect off of it uh, more accurately towards the microphone of the camera than it would if I would just speak directly towards it. This is a three foot round dish and as you can see it's pretty big. Um, these are actually pretty old-fashioned, they're kinda hard to come by. The easiest ones to get are the... oh my god, how many fucking dishes do I have here? I can't even find them under these three foot ones. The easiest ones to get are these little 14 inch guys. Um, of course, they're not going to give you as much gain as the larger breeds, but these are a lot easier to work with. They're a lot easier to get your hands on. So, um, also remember that whenever radio waves um, reflect, they inverse their polarization 90 degrees. So you might have to change the, ori uh, the orientation. Although you have a vertically polarized antenna and a vertically polarized access point, because it's reflecting off of this dish, it's going to shift phase 90 degrees and thus should your antenna. And that is actually one of the things I compensated for with my biquad antennas. So, this concludes the segment, Parabolas. They're relatively inexpensive, if not free, very easy to get up, up, up to, if not exceeding 20 decibels of gain, and uh, if you can get your hands on one, fuck with it, for the love of God. Alright, I've had an amassment of three-foot satellite dishes in my living room for a week. I'm ending this segment, and I'm going to hate you all because of this. Fuck off.